If you are wondering what is happening in the Arizona housing market, well then stay tuned and I'll fill you in. And we're starting right now. All right, we are back talking about the Arizona housing market and what is happening. So Arizona, like a lot of communities, um, you know, a lot of people here have moved here from somewhere, somewhere else. And every city that I talk to people seem to be saying the same thing, that their housing market is going crazy. And so we are uh, experiencing exactly the same thing here. However, in the last two weeks, we have seen a downward trend in our market index. So in prior videos, I have mentioned the Cromford um, report. I subscribe to that as an agent. Uh, it's only available to agents um, and people that work in the real estate community. And it is an analysis of the Arizona market. And so every major city has seen a decline in the last um, the last two weeks in a row. So what's fueling the cooling trend? Well, our inventory is starting to rise. Now, our inventory, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later in this video, but um, our inventory still is very low. But I am noticing that our demand is really just kind of hovering around the normal range. Um, people would probably say that that's um, that they don't see that because when a house does come on the market, it's like locusts coming <laughs> and everybody bids on it. But um, that's really just because of our short supply. But the demand itself, when you look at the numbers, is considered in the normal range. We're also seeing that the sales count overall is good, but the number of listings under contract is falling, which also supports the whole notion about the demand um, index dropping a little bit. It's, I mean, it's not dropping drastically like 20 points, but it is slowly chipping in a negative or a negative direction, I guess. All right, I'm gonna pop on here two um, different versions of the Cromford index chart from um, uh, that I downloaded. And so the first one shows um, the, you know, over time, over the years, what has happened with the Cromford index. And you can see this spike um, where it was um, 2005, 2006 with everybody flipping houses over and stuff like that. Then it dipped down, we had our housing crash and all that stuff. And then now you can see how much it has accelerated. And then if you see at the very end of it, you can kind of see that it is starting to come down. Um, so the second chart here, it's probably a little bit clearer. Um, you can see the top blue line is for 2021 and then uh, 2018, 19 and 20 are below. Um, and you can see that the level is far greater here in 2021, but you will see that it, over the last few months, the um, trajectory has been downward. All right, this next chart is the index report in relation to housing appreciation. So you can see um, that normally the index will either rise or fall and then pricing is, or price is usually a late, uh, lagging indicator by three to six months. So um, you can see, and actually when you look at the crash, the years of the crash, the appreciation way exceeded like the um, rise of the index. And now you can see when you fast forward to 2021, you can see that the index started to rise and then the pricing was following, but it's not going out of the stratosphere like it was in 05 and 06. Now, normally when the index goes on a decline, then in three to six months, you'll start to see the prices fall. However, our inventory is so low that I'm kind of curious to see if that in fact will be what's happening, but it's, it's gonna be a long while. We have to get our, our supply right before I think we're ever gonna start seeing prices really start to come down. They might flatten, their, the expectation is that the appreciation is going to flatten, but as far as going in a major negative direction, um, you know, we are a long ways from a normal market. All right, so looking to the future, what does the crystal ball say? So, um, you know, like I had mentioned just a little while ago, we are a long way into this um, seller's market. So we are so far above 100, which is a balanced market that we have to come all the way down to 100, you know, in order to be balanced. So the prices are not, we're not gonna see a drastic shift in pricing, at least according to the Cromford report, for quite some time. Um, the appreciation rate um, might start slowing. We were at like, I think about 40%, which is, they were thinking for the whole year, it might appreciate 40 or 41%, but we are already seeing um, areas with those numbers already, and we're only halfway through the year. Um, 
what we really need is supply. And like I said, supply is rising. It's just not rising fast enough. So when new stuff comes on the market, it's kind of getting absorbed. And um, so that's just, so I don't, I don't see that we're gonna have this big massive swing that everybody thinks is happening. Um, you know, and the difference, a lot of people, so everybody, when all this is happening, everybody is all reminiscent about what happened in 2005 and six and all that stuff, or when we, I'm sorry, when we had the crash in nine, excuse me. Um, but the difference back then in 05 and 06 is that people were not intending to live in those houses. They were buying them and turning over, buying them and turning over, buying them and turning. Our market's totally different. People are buying houses here because they want to live in that house, just like in all these other cities. People are, because of COVID and other circumstances, people are move, migrating to Arizona for other reasons as well. But people are moving out of that high density um, housing and moving into homes where they may have always just tried to live in the city before, but because of COVID and being potentially locked down again sometime in their life, they're realizing they, they want more space. And so the demand is completely different. In, back in the last housing uh, crash, that was fake demand. We have actual real demand now. Also, I wanted to point out, as noted by um, the Cromford report, is that the, the, the decline or how it's slowing is a lot faster. It took 95 days to go from its peak down to where we are now, where it took only 67 days to do that in reverse. So the uprising is out, you know, is moving faster than, than how it's coming down. So it is, it's, it's a slower, and I just think it's because some people are just getting priced out of the market. Um, we don't have enough inventory so people can actually buy, and then the builders are really struggling to keep up. Another comparison with the housing the last housing frenzy and where we are now is that the index, the Cromford index in 95 days dropped 23.5% where in the same amount of time we are only, our index has only dropped 15.3%, which is a substantially, uh, is substantially different. Um, and like I said earlier, um, we have real demand, not, not this fake demand. So if you are thinking about buying or selling here in the Valley and you would like some assistance or have some questions, please feel free to reach out. My name is Michelle Miller. I am with Michelle Miller Realty and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Arizona Properties. I will put all my contact information below um, so it's easy for you to reach out to me and connect with me on social media. Um, and while you're down there, I will also put a link to some of my other videos. I have a video on um, buying, if you're in the process of buying, or I'm sorry, buying and selling, I have some for both, um, and as well as a whole host of other videos um, on my website and if you want to check out my blog on my website as well there's all kinds of links to different types of information there as well and I, I also want to give out two shout outs so if you're interested Arizona is experiencing and I sat through a class the other day and then we were talking about um, all the industry that is um, happening and coming to our valley AZ big media I read a lot of stuff on there and it talks about um, like we're having two big semiconductor plants coming here. There's a ton of industry moving into the Southeast Valley. It's a really good source of information. They, they are not plugging, paying me to uh, plug that, but I just find it very helpful if you're interested in kind of what's happening on the commercial side um, in our valley. I also want to give a shout out to Arizona Silk um, and Flower Company um, for this lovely arrangement. They are also not sponsoring this video, but if you had seen my video a few uh, maybe a few months ago when I moved, my friend Cindy was so sweet and sent me this absolutely gorgeous plant, which was uh, an orchid that looked just like this, but I uh, killed it um, inadvertently, and um, which I do with every orchid. But to kill a cactus is like or a succulent is pretty hard to do. So, you know, <laughs> thumbs, thumbs up to me. So I had the Arizona Silk Company make, make a replica of it. Um, and it looks so real. So I just had to give them a shout out because they do just do phenomenal work. So anyways, um, I think maybe I'll have to go over into their shop so you can see all the cute stuff that they make sometime and do a video on that. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.